the only high relief coin ever issued by the U.S. Mint for circulation was, well, it was those first few days of the brand new peace dollar back in late 1921. And tonight, we not only have it, we have a few of them in uncirculated condition. Look at these gorgeous specimens. So what is high relief? Let's just start there. It means that the device, the main theme here, which is Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty look, our brand new look and feel, is above the edge of the coin. It means on the reverse, the eagle that you're going to see here in a minute is higher than the edge of the coin. So the relief is high, which means it's not a functional coin for circulation. We, at the end of World War I, wanted to create a new silver dollar. Because again, at that time, the Morgan dollar was over in 1904. And while they were making the peace dollar design, they made more Morgans. And the battle actually was basically over the eagle having arrows, which is traditional through most of our coins through the 1800s, to olive branches. Because again, this is supposed to symbolize what? V for victory, the end of World War I, and peace. The end of the war of all wars at that time in world history. So we make it in December for only a couple of weeks, this coin. And then they flatten it out and put it into regular circulation mode in 1922. In 1922, Denver and San Francisco struck the coin as well. So we had all three U.S. mints, functional mints, making the coin in 1922. But only one of them made the coin in 1921, that is Philadelphia. Now, if you're familiar with the peace dollar, you'll know that the softening means you can sometimes barely read United States of America on the reverse. Very soft, because they flattened it out. The detail in the hair above the ear. Look at the word in God we trust, T-R-V-S-T-V -V for victory. Look at how strong it is because it's being pulled from the cup or the dish, basically, that they created with the high relief. Just a fun coin. Now, how popular is it? In 2021, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the first peace style or the last Morgan. It was a crazy time. They made 175,000 of all of the Morgans, and they only made 200,000 of the peace. All of them sold out instantly, all right? 200,000 of the brand new 2021 peace dollar. We sold out at 399. 399. Think about that. This is the original uncirculated specimen for 499.95. Now if you look at the mintages in this coin, they wanted to get it out there quickly. They made give or take a million, a million 1 million 6,000 and change is the actual numbers. But again, I always make reference to population reports just so we can get an idea of what the services are seeing. How many coins versus how few. And we're always looking for the how few's, right? If you add up NGC and PCGS, all grades, all grades, just to give you an idea how many coins they've seen or how few they have seen, you're looking at 43,000 and change out of a million coins that were struck. Now, because of the quick changeover as well, a lot of the coins were kept as a, as a tribute or a symbol to peace. Yet it was a regular circulation strike coin. It wasn't made specially for collectors, etc. Crazy stuff. Now, if you look at my competition, they have middle grade circulated coins at 629. We're talking about $130 more than we have beautiful unks, as you can see on your screen. We did find one of our competitors with a beautiful unk, and they're at $8.99. We are $400 less. It's just a special deal. Now, there have been other high relief coins and medallions made. I mean, the, the brand new 2021 was made in high relief as well, and respect tribute to the original in 1921. The difference is the fact that this coin was struck for circulation. All the other high relief coins they made were made for us, the collector, never intended to circulate, 
That's why they can put them in a capsule and make them look so beautiful because we're not going to use them out there. We don't have to stack them up and figure out how to use them in a cash register or a till, etc. right? Just funny stuff outright. But firsts are always remembered. Always remembered, right? We remember that Lindbergh flew across the Atlantic first. Number two is tough. We remember number one. If you're a sports fan, the Super Bowl, the first Super Bowl, right? You have what? You, whether you're a fan of the team or not, you know that it was the Green Bay Packers that won. And over the last 60-odd years, you're praying your team won once or twice, a couple of them winning many of them. And in many of them not winning at all. But we remember the first, because firsts are significant. Whether it's sports cards, rookie cards as they call them there, comic books, right? Issue number one, always significant. Stamps, the first time a design comes out. It's all, always, always significant. So it's no different in coins that the first year is going to be special. But this one has it up a notch because of the fact that it's the only time they ever made an artistic coin for circulation. And they made it in the high relief. The first ever and the only ever high relief silver dollar or high relief anything for that matter. And again, our price tonight, just $499.95. We are less in price than their circulated coins, that being our competition, and way under that of their uncirculated versions of the same coin. We are not bashful. We want to do some business. We don't want to sell two coins tonight. I want to sell the group I have, every one of them. So we're always going to be aggressive in our pricing because we want to, one, get great prices to you, and two, have you come back. Guys, let's put a one-minute clock up. So let's recap, shall we? So in 1921, the end of World War I, the collecting body, not Congress or the government, Pushes to have a new silver dollar made celebrating peace, the end of World War I. So they put a committee together, they work on the designs, and late in the year they finally approve the designs. The eagle with olive branches versus arrows in its talons. And then the rest is history. But the first year they make in a special high relief. The only time ever done this way. The idea was to make our coins more artistic. This was the last coin in President Theodore Roosevelt's coin renaissance. All the others, the smaller denominations, were done in the previous decade or two. The silver dollar, because it wasn't in circulation, wasn't there. High relief means the device, the main theme in the coin, is above the rim. Gorgeous. These are beautiful, beautiful uncirculated specimens. Competitions at eight ninety nine. Heck, they're at six twenty nine for circulated, while our supplies last four ninety nine ninety five.